Probably got an hour of light left and I'm going all out, pellet and lobworm in the hope for a chub or a barbel or a cart or a big bream. It's just good to be out to be honest. Two swing gates over the river. It's all stuff that puts anglers off because they have all the gear and haven't got the energy to carry it all. So the spot I've chosen is away from the main footfall. It's got loads of features. It's got these big reed beds, for example, that give fish a bit of cover, very pikey looking. This bit always seems to get a bit of wind. Opposite bank is private. Anything like this that stops anglers from getting through easily is good. And I'll soon find out if anyone has fished in my spot because I've put up a little bit of camouflage, which is still there, thankfully. There we go. Planted those before I left. Covered the patch of grass with some fresh grass. So first thing I'm going to do is just move those out of the way. Oh dear, that'll teach me to have a beer when I'm fishing, won't it? <laughs> Never mind. What a muppet. I think I might leave my bait runner switched off. <laughs> New reel, that's my excuse. But in the evening, the bats can give you lots of artificial liners. Bite. That's the downside to worms. It could just be roach or, you know, six ounce chub. Very inquisitive, they'll fly over and have a look. I've never caught a big queen before. But that's a, a weighty old fish, surprisingly heavy. About five pounds, lot of damage on the tail, not good. 